friends, my name is Grace. This is our last episode of the year 2018. And the, to end this year, we will continue to show you the year in the pictures. Antonio will be sitting down to talk to one of our Hoover students about kindness and respect and how it affects them. Good morning, my name is Katie. Now for Hoover headlines. For, for several weeks now, our first, second, and third grade students have been participating in the dance and property res, res, Resident. residence grant. This week, they were able to show off what they have learned, and they, and they did a wonderful job. Our Hoover Music Program did a wonderful job during the la during last Thursday concert. Congratulations, Hoover Musicians, and thank you to Mr. V for doing a great job with our student musicians. The holiday season is almost here. We all know what that means. Food, lots and lots of food. Hello, my name is Isaias. We are here today to present to present you a few facts about the di digestive system. You eat a meal, then a bit later you you run to the to the toilet and poop. But what happens in between? It makes about twenty four hours of the food you eat to come out the other way. One, it's on its trip. It it mixes with acid and digestive ju juices and squeeze uh, and squelch and until all of the nutrients that the body needs are absorbed. Then the smiley lift over long with billions of dead bacteria are you are ready to exit the body. Nice. Hello, my name is James. Here are some fun facts about our digestive system. Fun fact number one, when you swallow a little flap or cartilage called the epiglottis, it clo closes off the windpipe. Some food doesn't go down there by mistake. Sometimes food goes the other way. That's we, that's we gag and start coughing our body is telling us us oops wrong way fun fact number two your saliva glands can produce up to six cups of saliva per day fun fact number three the acid in your stomach is so strong it could dissolve an iron nail S to stop your stomach from digesting itself it's lined with a protect mucus and your stomach cells are replaced every few days so the next time you eat anything think about how much your food travels through your digestive system bon appetit on friday december 21 the engage 360 after school program has hosted a family students saying holiday songs for the parents. Everyone had a wonderful Good time. Good morning, Hoover. My name is Amy. This is a community event. The Fira Cinema, the one on 4th Street, is showing the holiday classic, It's a Wonderful Life. If you ne have nev not visited the Fira in downtown Santa Ana, this may be a great chance for you to come down and bring the family. The Fira Cinema is an old movie Theater, which is now being run by a nonprofit organization and a lot and a lot of volunteers. Since it opened a few years ago, it has become downtown Santa Ana's premier classic movie theater. For more info of their movie offering, go to the fetacinema.org. Our winter recess begins on December 4 until January 4. We will be returning from winter on Monday, January 7. All the students have taken a home vacation homework pack. 
make sure you bring your completed homework back pack when you return to school. Our very own Antonio sat with one of our students to talk about how kindness and respect uh, respect affects them here at school and at home. Watch this. Good morning, Natalia. Tell me who is your teacher and how old are you? My name is Natalia. My, my teacher is Ms. Hernandez and I'm 10 years old. What does kindness mean to you? Kindness means to me the, you have to treat the other person the way you want to be treated. Can you give me an example of how your teacher shows kindness to you or to your classmates? My teacher gives us kindness when we play outside as a big group for PE, like uh, line one and line two. Give me an example of how you should respect to f your friends, teachers, or parents. I give respect to my parents and friends and teachers when they speak or tell me what to do, but I need to like respect them and stuff like that. How do you feel when you are nice to people? I get, like, I respect. Thank you very much for your time, Natalia. Bye. Now I'm here to interview my cousin, Antonio. Tell me who is your teacher and how old are you? My teacher is Miss Ward and I'm 10 years old. What does kind Kindness mean to you? Kindness means to me is um, like if you see anyone getting bullied, you stand up for them. Can you give me an example of how your teacher shows kindness to you? She so shows kindness to me and my classmates because um, uh, every, we sometimes make her laugh and um, we <laughs> basically um, like to play around with her. Give me an example how, of how you show respect to your friends, teachers, or parents. I show respect to them because uh, this is how I show respect to them. I be nice to them, I care about them, and um, like I help them. Okay. How do you feel when you, when you are nice to people? I feel great when people are kind to me. Thank you very much for your time, Antonio. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Leo. We continue with this year's in pictures. On May 3rd, the volcano Kilauea erupts on Hawaii's big island. It spews lava and toxic gas. It also opens cracks in the earth. A later, a day, a day later, the eruption causes a 6.9 magnitude earthquake. It is the Isla's strongest earthquake in 43 years. On July, people around the world witness the total of lunar eclipse. This is when the sun, earth, and the moon line up. The sun casts earth shadows on the moon. The phenomenon is also known as the, as the blood moon. It is because the moon takes on the deep red color. On November 6, a record number of people turned out to vote in the 2018 midterm election. Democrats win a ma majority in Congress. Republicans maintain control of the Senate. In December 2nd, flowers are placed beneath the statue of George w. H. W. Bush in Houston, Texas in 41st USA president died on November 30th. His funeral was held on December 5th in Washington, D.C. My name is Suley. Happy holidays, everyone. My name is Ima. Our quote of the week is about showing gratitude. 
Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a Christmas present and not giving it. This is a quote from William Arthur Ward. Have yourselves a happy and safe holiday season. We'll see you next time. Bye. We have less than a week to celebrate the holiday season. It is more important to spend time with our loved ones, loved ones <laughs> with or without material things. Remember the best gift you can give our loved ones on this, on loved ones, Loved ones is your presence. Presence. This has been our episode of the week. My name is Grace. Happiness comes from connections, meanings, and gratitudes, not from toys, clothes, shoes, or any material things that we receive during the holiday season. On that note, we bid you all a very holiday season. We will see you in in 2019. Bye. Bye.